Hello, welcome back unexpectedly to Disorientation. Now, I'm back at my save just before reaching the end of the mission because I discovered... I went to the forums just to Don't see... I saw something. Oh, there's nothing there. Just to Seems see now. what... Um, oh, well. People's general, general reactions have been to the mission and they were like, oh, wow, there's so much stuff to explore and talking about all these different places and things that I never saw or didn't even necessarily know existed. Um, apparently, if I'm exploring a lot more than I was, there's a lot more to find. Uh, I'm already seeing a ledge up there, which I don't think I've been to. Hmm. I went to a window up there, but I didn't come to the ledge. So, although I've got two hit points and can't really survive any falls, uh, I should actually be able to explore there's a couple of things. I've got this tarnished key which I found with a note. Where's the note? It was the uh, scrap of paper. That's one. Sit the key. So, look at the end of the canal. Blah blah. blah. There's commotion up the stream. The watchdogs fished out a dead old taffy. Got swept down to the gate. Old key fell out of his clothes, so they took the corpse. Now, in the watch station, there was a note. I don't know if I've got it here. Um, is that it? No. Report. That's the one. No. Yeah. Uh, errant lamp light. I'm sorry, a triumph. Caught trying to force open one of the grates at the falls, slipped and fell, and we hailed him, blah blah blah. He was dead. Brought to the after inspection. So he would be the one who. Presumably at the waterfall here is where, they, where he was trying to get in, and the key opens something that, up that way. So that's one thing. Secondly. There's a keeper area apparently somewhere, which I have no idea about. I have no idea even where it is. Thirdly, there's some other creepy area with some cursed skull or something. Also, no idea where to find it. Um, okay, I'm looking at that ledge now. I went to the window. Let's just, let's just have a look, see if that ledge is reachable from the window. I didn't actually look backwards when I climbed up here before. Let's just climb in. Nope. Oh, I thought I was dead. Alright. <laughs> I was fortunate. Uh, I was just preparing to quick load and uh, I had a splash instead of Garrett's scream of agony. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anytime I fall, make have a long fall into water instead of uh, into uh, something solid, we be fine. Alright, so there is a ledge there, but I don't think it goes anywhere. I mean, it goes up there, but the, neither of those windows open, I think. Let's just find out. <laughs> it's in the climb on it. Weirdly. That's probably uh, new mantle working there. From New Dark, because... You can't cl man cut normally mantle at a sideways angle like that. I didn't know I had new mantle turned on. Well, there's another ledgy spot, but I don't think it's possible to get there because it's all stone. So, yeah, alright. Can we go back down again? I guess we can. Pretty safely. Alright. So that's... That's the start. Now, I also wanted to read what these notes are all about. Yeah. There's no one there. Alright, let's quickly read them. By the decree of the Lady Azamlag, Warden of Dark Smoke, let it be known that the tithe of wool, lead, wax, oil, and leather shall now be two coppers for the measure. The tithe on glass, amber glean, and white clay shall be one good silver. Peddling outside the Dark Smoke market shall be treated as theft of her ladyship's own due. Oh, well. By the decree of the Lady Azamlag, Warden of Dark Smoke, let it be known that no man or woman, nor any child of outside residence, I have read that one. Hearing footsteps as well. Is this the other guard coming? It might be the other guard coming. Who comes around here and actually goes and reads the notices himself. And would thus be a bit of a liability for me. So I will wait for him to come and go. And then read the other two notices. Which probably, the other two are probably the same as I've already read. Don't come here. Don't come here. Just go to your... Do your thing. Actually, I should just go knock him out, right? <coughs> Save myself the trouble. Oh, 
Right. Um, we read that one as well. The trial, the beggars, and then on the lookout for Karen. Okay, so that was the only new notice. All right. What do I want to do about him? Do I want to do anything about him? No, I don't want to do anything about him. Let's just keep going. All right, so it's firstly, it's off to the waterfall, because that's the first clue of a place I've missed. But I will, of course, keep an eye out for any other There's places to climb to. Did I ever go in that window? I don't know. There's a, no, it's an open door. It looks like it must have been there. Um, oh, that's right. There's a. There's also a gate right near the start, which had a lever to open it on the other side. But I couldn't see a way in. So there's, a, there's something else I'm missing. Whoa! Splish! Now let's get out of here and have a look. I'm not sure if this is the waterfall in question. Well, I can get up there, right? Have I been up there before? I don't know. There's a open window there that doesn't look familiar. Ooh, so somebody coming. There's this guy that runs up and down the street there. Well, let's try going here. So, I could get up on this roof, or I can go along there, I can cross the chain. Let's see what's up here. It's noisy, but... There's two guards there, and one of them's got a bow. Should this get me anywhere? It doesn't really look like it gets me anywhere. Alright. Come on, carrot, get up there. Let's go back. Come this way. Aha, look, there's a vase. I wonder if I can make that jump. That looks quite dangerous. Although, not very dangerous, because if you fall, you just get wet. First, let's go up this ledge. Where does this take me? Have I been this way before? It's feeling a little familiar. Yes, I went in there. I did go in there. Alright, so, I don't think I went across the way. Or did I? Well, there's loot I haven't stolen, that's obvious. Um, there's a chain there. Let's cross this chain into this building. Which I also feel like I did before, but... Then why is there loot that I didn't steal? Alright, I looked at those, they didn't open. I went this way, surely. Oh, I saw that door didn't open and just thought that was it. I didn't think, well, let's climb over here. Alright, so let's climb over here then. Oh, careful, Garrett. I can't get in the window, but I can certainly take that. Oh, there's a... Wait, so where is that? Because that's... A... I can, like, actually reach the door from here to open it. <laughs> Garrett's got very long arms. But I can't get in that window. So, where are we? That's to the east. We just come over these falls. I think it's the second falls here is where they, uh... They use the key. Oh, there's something about the grate that opens. I'll make a note. Um... But here, how do I get in there? The even, even troll estate. Because why would you have a door that I can open if you can't get in? No way to climb higher. Alright, I'm seeing a guard over there. I'll wait for another archer. Alright, he's turned around. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, don't fall in. I mean, it's probably okay if you fall in, Garrett, but I prefer if you didn't. Another ledge here. Oh, I didn't actually go up on this garden, did I? Well, that's not the way to get there. Let's try that again. I remember this ladder. The current here is quite strong. So that's actually one thing that's nicer about this one than uh, Bad Debts. Is... <sighs> Um, the whole fact that there's just dark here. Yes. 
I think you're gasping back. Uh, is the fact that lots of these areas I'm climbing on are above water, so if you do fall in, it's okay. Although, I did fall to my death plenty of times anyway. Come on, are you here? Here he comes, here he comes. And I'm just knocking out to get him out of the way. I'm not, I'm not being precious about knockouts at all, especially when I'm only on two hit points. So you, sir, come with me. Just over to this corner here. Alright. Hmm. Climb up, please? No. I think there's more new dark fixes. Like, you used to be able to climb on the trees, and now you can't. I wonder if that's just patches that in new dark to make it so you can't, which is annoying, really. Climbing on everything is really a fun part of playing B. So I went in there. That's the Brocious estate, which was kind of empty. I didn't come to this garden at all, did I? Doesn't look familiar. Oh, more vines to up. Ah! Oops. Well, that wasn't intentional. Um, I climb with the vines, but it didn't seem to go anywhere unless... Oh, unless I get into the tree. Maybe I can climb on the tree branch and not the roof. Maybe that's what I should be trying to climb on here. Yeah? No? Well, at least I didn't die. Which, when you only get two hit points, even a small amount of, uh... Well, that tree does not seem very solid, does it? Ugh. Ow. I'll reload that. Um... I mean, that's solid enough, but this branch doesn't seem to be, does it? No. And I can actually see through the tree. Nice. Alright, um... Not sure why these vines are here, because I can't climb onto the roof. Can't climb into the tree. Well, let's get back down. Maybe they're just decorative and you can just climb them, because they're vines. Yeah, I can't mantle any of these trees. Alright, we've got some steps down. To check the doorways, yes. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's... Oh, that's that guy. Alright. So, could I have got into this place off the street? Well, I can't use that. There we are. He's going away. If he's going to come on up and look at the gate, I might be in trouble. Yes, there's someone behind you. Alright, so I've been to this street and briefly looked, but I didn't actually notice that gate at all. Why not? Where is it now? Oh, it's right at the end here. I didn't see it, I just thought this was a dead end. And I did see... Did I see this door? Ah, I know I tried that door and it didn't open. But I was coming from here down by the water. I don't remember... I don't remember this place. Whoop. Show yourself. There's no one there. Where are you, you tarper? I'm not here. I'm not here. You're not here either. All right. I definitely haven't been here if there's still a archer walking up and down without any way around. Okay. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of time on the streets today. I? I did get up there. That's familiar. That's the marketplace. Didn't really explore these areas, did I? No. All these shops. Well, this will teach you to go only over the rooftops, Garrett, and not explore the street level as well. So because I'm, my goal now is just to explore all the nooks and crannies I didn't get before, I'm definitely going to just knock out every guard I have the opportunity to, because... Or even... Hmm. Thought I spoke. Civilians. Just to stop them running for something. He's got no keys. He might as well come in here. I, they can blame the break-in on him. So this would appear to be a 
sculptor's shop. Got a bit of statues, you got a big chunk of uh, marble or something here that he hasn't started work on. More statues. Oh, he's got some giant meerkat statues. I mean, they're not meerkats, right? I don't know what they're supposed to be. But they kind of looked like meerkats up on top of that other bookshop. Uh, some valuable statues. I'll take them. And what's this? City Tribune. City Tribune 10 11 8 3 2. Mystery burglar, just a legend, solicitor says. Reports of the mysterious criminals supposedly stalking the wealthy households of the city have resurfaced after Mr. Heinz Stallen brought charges to a trial over insurance payments. His allegations, which provoked uproarious laughter among members of the jury, drew attention to damages of a very unusual nature. In truth, the culprit not only carried off the dinnerware and several valuables from my collection, including a priceless clear silver statue won in the Southern Wars by my dear late Uncle Rufus, but a veritable cutload of comestibles as well. It is not in my character to burden the honourable jury with such trivial nuisances, but the shameless conduct of the accused party makes it an imperative as a lawful proprietor as well as a gentleman. We are experiencing indeed a theft epidemic of epic proportions, and I do not just mean the burglary. The Honourable Seamus A. Blatt, a noted barrister involved in the case on the side of the defendants, was quoted by the Tribune. In no case during my practice have I been witness to similar extraordinary crimes. The common thief, in fact, is a creature of cowardice and habitual shiftiness, a debased and lowly being. To assume that after risking life and limb in taking lawful property, a criminal would linger to look little for it, is, to put it simply, fantastic beyond my wildest fancies. Pray tell, where did this extraordinary burglar carry such foodstuffs? In his pockets? Or barring that, does the good Mr. Heinstaden propose that the culprit in fact consumed five heads of cabbage, six deer legs, a few pairs of sausages, apples, and a generous supply of carrots? Even an entire expedition of the boldest riffraff would not have such a ravenous appetite. And, as someone who has observed the lowest source of street detritus from my window, would put little credence in a nursery tale of similar character. Rumpelwall, Stone Market, Wayside 4-0, Downlock Dayport, 1-1, Newmarket Mobile, cancelled by Cardinal's Interdict. Okay, so there's the sports results as well. I hope your bets came in your favour or your team won or whatever. A complaint. Furthermore, and coinciding with these infractions, when I look through the window of your shop to see if you have indeed ceased your intolerable hammering for the day, I spied a lewd and, I'm sure, illegally produced image with, I note, a completely bare nipple. This outrageous conduct is in fact not only beyond the accepted standards of public decency, but also a vile assault against my sensibilities. Why, to consider that this filth would stand in the shop that is very next to mine, and might, to add insult to injury, bother my valued customers. In fact, the question of indem indemnification, unless you are too drunk again to understand this, it means money, will have to be, etc, etc. If somebody's complaining, they can look through the window of this guy's shop and see a bare nipple. Indeed, that statue does have a bare nipple. I'm sure that, I'm sure the sculptor is very, very troubled by uh, that complaint. Oh, okay. There's a broken statue chest that doesn't appear to open. Another window. Is there anything actually in here? Apart from creepy ambience. There's hammer. Chest doesn't seem to break it open if I break, try and break it. Oh! There's a secret. Nope, there's a loose brick. Uh, what's behind here? Can I break this chest? It's great. No. Maybe I can just see through there. There's buzzing. Oh, there's skeletons. It's kind of hard to see because I'm too I'm too tall even when I'm crouching. There seems to be a skeleton. Ah. Hmm. Well, well, let's get that zoom off. It's confusing me. Disorienting me, you could say. Uh, so that's north of this guy's shop. It must be one of his uh, neighbor's shops. Yeah, his hiding bodies. Hmm, probably the one that was complaining about, you know, the nipple. Oh, 
that's just you. Come on, here in the darkness. Maybe that's the neighbor. He was maybe he's coming in to peer in the window here. So the upstairs window was where the nipple was visible, right? Maybe he moved the statue upstairs because of the complaint. Just to shut them up. All right. So much for the sculptors. Who's next? We have a uh, food sort of place. That's good. I've got two hit points. And if there's a bunch of food in here, I can eat. Such as six deer legs, twelve cabbages, and assorted sausages, etc. As uh, the complaint was. Maybe I'll get another couple of hit points back. But also, there could be loot. Could be loot. There are apples. Carrots. Cucumbers. Mm. Cabbages. Oops, I need to open the door. Oh, cabbages. Three hit points left from three cabbages. Nice. Now, I wonder if there's any tennis balls to match on. Alright. What's this? Nothing. Ooh. Come on. Eat the fruit. Yay, look at that. Look at that. Why didn't I come here so earlier? Well, because I didn't know it existed. But, uh... That's a lovely, a beautiful set of hit points I've got right there. Well, this guy doesn't even seem to have an upstairs. There is an upstairs window, but that must be the sculptor's other room, because the sculptor had a couple of rooms. I guess that window there is where the body was. Hmm. So they heard a guard, but they seem to be far away. To your face, Garrett. It's probably, you know, happened enough. You would have thought maybe they would have decided to uh, um, make it so that unlocking a door doesn't immediately open it. But I don't know. Another complaint. And it is an outrage that the stench in your shop, and don't deny it, that dreadful stink of spoiled meat must come from your filthy barracks, is driving away the clients I've spent so much of my valuable time and effort together. You with the meat and the no-good drunkard to my right with the infernal noise, and it is a wonder I'm still in business. You both should take a lesson from that alchemist. Now he doesn't make a noise or assault my nostrils with vile odours. Get this fixed or I will go not to you, but the courthouse, and I mean it. Ah, wow, what a neighbour, huh? Well, I mean, that's a barracks head in a vat of blood that is probably pretty stinky, but uh, lucky for me, this uh, old technology that the peep engine was... Uh, thief users doesn't support smell of vision. Mmm, dear legs. No well, more hit points from all that. But, that's alright. Still doing okay. Ooh. So, an entire barrack corpse. Looks rather fatal dead. Hung up by the tail to train. Nice, ooh. And a hammer. For softening the meat. Nice. Right, so... Well, it doesn't seem to be upstairs here, either. Um... Right. Well, maybe the alchemist. The alchemist is also an upstairs window. Where is that guard? Oh, it's the same one. Hmm. Maybe I should try and deal with him. Well, he'll be fine. He won't see me. He says. Nothing now. Hard noise. <clears throat> yeah, well. Look at that. Your lights are just going out. So now I've gone out in another sense. Alright. Let's try the alchemist. Ooh. Use a key. But. Oops, I didn't mean to save there. I was trying to go walk sideways. That's alright. I don't mind the save. Now that window. Hmm. That window, I definitely can't get in because it's narrower. Does this one get narrower? Or can I possibly climb on this sign? 
Clamber onto the side. No, I can't get in there. Alright, that's, that's still the sculptor's place. That's where... Alright, so that was where I was... Found the loose brick, which means... I can't get up here. Maybe I'm going to need a bunch of crates. I don't know. No, that doesn't work. Up there is where the corpse is. I do need to get in here. So where are we? We're at the market. So... On the east or west side of it? Yeah, on the west... On the west side. Oh, the mercantile field. So... Alchemist. I need a key. I can read it. Uh, so yeah, I wonder how I find the key to the alchemists. Something to note and come back to anyway. Uh, so why now? Let's just keep going down the street, I guess. I didn't really go in the courthouse. I did go up all over the chains up there, so... Should be right. Where does this take me? I looked down on this courtyard from up there, that's right, jumped over that way. But I did not come this way. Oh, we got music again. Alright, yeah, this this is just the inn. Alright, with my uh, red power still there. Uh, so, I, I want to find a way in there, so I'm going to go back up here and see if there's a way into the even troll estate. There's an open window up there. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the ladder I climbed up. That was accessible via the escape route. So let's go east. Uh, let's go north. Go around the market, because I'm going to be at the upper side of the water again. So when I was jumping back and forth over those gargoyles that have been up there. How do I get into the alchemists? I don't know. Oh, there's a gong call for more guards. I don't think I want to bang it, though. Um, that was coming down from the escape route, and then that uh, rope was not enough to save me from dying. But used an old trick that if you jump onto the head of any AI, um, no matter how far you fall, you don't actually take damage. Alright, have I been over there? I have. How did I get there? If I go in there, I'm going to get swept away on the current. Can I get back upstream? Oh, maybe, maybe, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's just get up. Maybe, maybe that is the way I need to go. To get in. Let's try that. Let's go back up that way. <laughs> See if I missed any doors or anything. Right. One back up here. <laughs> take my rope with me. Oh, I didn't take my rope with me. So, that window. Clearly, there's an area behind it that should be accessible because there's a door I can open. Now maybe that's misleading, maybe they built it and you can't get to it, but I don't think so. I think this particular mapper, if you they build a place, then it should be possible to get to it. This is half the point of this mission is climbing and clambering and exploring everywhere. Even though I didn't really do that when I was playing uh, earlier. Oh, I didn't go in that window, did I? No, I went in that one. And I don't think there's anything in here, so let's just take a look. Just my own... Anything under the bed? Nope. And this door didn't open. And then I came out here and went over that way. Yeah. And I saw those windows up there, and I did actually get up there later on. Alright. But there's another window here that I haven't been in. <laughs> that one there. So let's do this jump. It seems a bit tricky. That's right. All right, we have a storage room with a potted plant, training dummy, pews. Is this a door? 
so. Odd. Is there anything in this room at all? Oh, hello. Hello. I see something on top of the gargoyle there. So let's uh, try a rip arrow in those. Yep. What a place to hide your. Ooh, there's some more there. How do I get that one? Maybe from the window. Alright, that doesn't open. Whoops. Alright, can do that without taking damage. Success. Can I reach that one from here? Yep. Alrighty. More loot. 2,000 now. Now, the, if I remember right, the loot goal on Expert was 2,400 or something, so there's got to be more than 2,400 total. Alright, so, um, this isn't getting us into this room. There's got to be a way either from here or from here. Did I scour that room for secret passages? It's a bit far away for secret passages, I think. I'm going to make this jump without taking damage. Yes, and I'm not too so worried about damage as well just right now. Thanks to robbing the fruit stand. How do I get in there? There's a chimney, but it doesn't really look big enough to climb down. Uh, and also, I don't see a way to get up to the chimney. I mean, it's low level. Like that door. Maybe I can break down that door. Maybe I can break it down rather than. Try, I guess. Um, there'd be one reason for it to look like a door. Whoops! Ugh. I thought there was a fence, uh, but anyway, there's a chain. That's fine. Uh, like in Chrome's Blade, there were doors that looked like this. You could break down. But this one doesn't break. No, uh, it doesn't open either. Hmm. <sighs> Clearly I'm missing something. Maybe there's a completely different way in there and that's just uh, a window looking out so you can say, oh, that's where I am. And maybe I've already been there. I don't know. All right, I think I've explored everywhere that I could get to from the garden. Maybe, probably. I'm probably missing something. But anyway, uh, let's go back in the water. There's another ledge there. That looks interesting. And in fact... Oh, yeah, I've been up there. I remember seeing those wooden beams. But I don't remember how to get there. No, 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 not downhill. Oh, well, we're going downhill. I guess we're going to the big falls now. Whether I like it or not. Oh, got stuck there. Oh, I can just walk screen now. Uh. Alright, so this is where they were recovered the body of someone who was trying to get at one of these grates above the falls or something and drowned. So I guess I need to go back to that ledge past the statues. I don't remember how to get there. Oh, well. well. Maybe not that way. I guess we're getting back out near the warehouses again and going north. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now we should have just passed the body of the new guy we took out of the crate. Jump onto the ladder guy. Not off it. Alright, how do we get back up there? Don't recall. Is that, wood in, is that wood up there? No, that's metal. All these people with metal eaves, like, ah, dear. More wood, and I can climb. Uh, this is the way, wasn't it? Yep. Takes me back to the statues. Right, 
We do get a good view of the waterfall from here, don't we? I'll actually use that. So, as far as I know, there's no way to open this grate. I would love for there to be a way to open that grate. Maybe there is, and it's really secret. But, let's take a look over here. And I notice now that these are wooden beams above the waterfall here. And there's a ledge that goes around there. So what if I put a rope here and we uh, try and grab onto it? Let's see. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, back around we go. I didn't mean to fall off. Can we get up there? Nope. Alright. Bear with me. Let's just swim. Where's our uh, dead friend here from the crate? Dropped him in the water down here somewhere, didn't I? Oh, there they are. Hello, dead friend. Can I... Can I pick you up again? No? Apparently not. Can't swim that deep. We got it on the ladder. Yeah. Garrett and his like half hearted climbing. Starts climbing and let the light go of space just too soon, then he basically gives up the whole thing and just lets go. Back up we go. I realise watching me uh, fail at various acrobatic uh, activities is probably not the best watching, but you know, whatever. So that is going to be kind of a optional bonus uh, recording afterwards. Alright, let's do this again. I'm still, again, not trying to load just because I missed a jump. I'm trying, if, if I uh, need to load. Right. Bam. Come on, Garrett, you can make that, can't you? Yeah. Aha! A locked door here. Where's that key? We have a tarnished key. Yes. Oh, it's a wood arrow. Nice. Alright, so this is a completely new area. This must be the sewers that people are talking about. Look into that. Better not be any spiders down here. I hear any. Very quiet. In fact, there seems very little of anything. Oh, someone hangs out down here. Fair enough. They have some basic food. They have a banner, which I don't think I can put down. They have... Oh. <laughs> Their bed is a secret. Oh, there's a lock there. Alright, hang on. They also have some money to need to take. So what does this unlock? Well, it needs a key. What about that old tarnished key? Is that the right key? It is indeed. Ooh, that opened another door there. Huh. And there's a bunch of levers there. Four of them. A big pressure door, and there's a big lever here. <laughs> Looks like this hasn't worked in years. Is that just uh, a red herring? Oh, more water. And this is the real secret? Interesting. Interesting. Where does this take me then? Hmm, 
somebody's paying for all this electricity. Shall we? Aha! Keepers. Right, so they're down here too. Alright. So what's he really about? Above another, another old look at the cracks on the floor there. Old keeper library here. Wait a second. Where's somebody about? See them. All right. Oh, hello, Skeppy. Uh, in the chat, he says, uh, "Crap, I'm finding this place." Um, well, I knew it existed because of the forum, but I had no idea it was connected to the sewer there. So there's various people asking questions about the sewer puzzle with the four levers, but uh, I was careful to avoid any answers. So it was just. Uh, Looking for loot and finding the loot in that lever, I think was good luck. Anyway, I can't see any way down. What have we got? Hopefully, there's nobody here to bother me. What's the note say? Keep up an art. By order of the Keeper Council, you are to leave your former tasks and observe these new instructions to the best of your ability. The previous moves in Downlock were well executed, and your solution to the involvement of the new acolyte, if dangerous, was appropriate. Concerning the matter of Azimlark, you also did well. Her attention is now fully on the perceived threat, giving us time to consolidate our efforts in the lower locks. Nevertheless, she is intelligent and dangerous, and her nightly activities may bring her even closer to our designs. Indeed, it might well be that she already suspects our existence. Watch her closely, but do not move yet unless a direct threat arises. Instead, your attention must be turned to Webster. His desire to be warden of the lower locks is well known, but in this matter, in this situation, Raputo could also have a say in the matter. It would be best if the affair was resolved to the benefit of neither party, and both would be severely compromised. The council suggests that discord among the criminal element may be the key to ultimate success. Signed, Keeper Nikolos. The uh, new acolyte is uh, me, i.e. Garrett. Previous moves in Downlock was what we're doing in Bad Debts. And um, interesting that the matter of Azimlag did well. Her attention is now fully on the perceived threat. So the setup of this mission was Azimlag tried to have Garrett killed, and that's why he's come here to get revenge on her. But that was apparently the keepers uh, feeding her information about me, so that they she would think I was the one that was giving her grief and not keepers. Basically, distract her from them. Bloody keepers, always pulling the strings and thinking they're better than everyone else. Thinking they're above everyone else, even when they're down below everyone else in that library. Ah. I'll take your candles and I'll go my own way. Um. Yeah. Apparently the area down there is not supposed to be reachable. So it's, you know, you could bring some crates and climb up, but... Uh, there's no way back. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not really interested in exploring there. Unreachable areas of the levels, but as much as the reachable areas. Okay, so this is another keeper hangout here. Seems a little inconvenient uh, to me. Uh, let's just do this again because we can. Uh, a little inconvenient to me if you only uh, access. All right, I won't give away your secrets. Um. Oh wait, does this does this close? If you only access the secrets is by this very awkward uh, climbing around by the waterfall. There we are. Lights off. They'll never know I was here except that all their money is missing. Uh, anyway, anything in the muck? In the sewer? You don't know, somebody might have dropped diamonds in the sewer. It's, it's happened before. It's a bit far fetched. But, you know. <laughs> and here's more sewer. We've got a lift. I wonder where that goes. A switch that doesn't work. And great that, of course, opens. Whoa. What 
Where does this take me? I don't know, I can't see a way to get up there without a crate. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to find a crate to bring one. Maybe that's meant to be a way out. Maybe that connects to the same place as the lift. I guess I'll find out. Yeah, it looks like it's half, well, halfway up the lift there. This lift goes a long way. Oh, it's a... Hmm. Oh, that's just a... engine -y thingy. Didn't see me, but it moved away so I can't shoot it. Alright, it's dead. Bloody spiders. Ugh. Can't stand them. Alright. Probably dangerous to move these around, but you know. Could have used them to blow up the spiders or something. We have another locked door. Right, I can pick it. I wonder where this one goes. Hopefully, not some more spiders. God, that flashing light's annoying too. One second I'm in darkness, the next bright light. All right, all I can hear out there is uh, when I put my ear to the door is water. And, oh -ho. Did I not even notice this place before? Well, okay, this is a place I have been, at least on that side. Alright, this is an ultimate route to the cellars. But, what about this, what about this halfway up place? I wonder if I can stand on the ledge. Is there a ledge I can stand on there? It might be. Yeah, can I pick you up? I can indeed, alright. Let's go through here. Feels a bit precarious. Alright, carrots. Either goat footed or clumsy as fuck. Alright, this is just the same. No, it's not just the same. I mean, it goes down to the same place, but, uh. Where is this ghost? It's just the same. Yeah, that's just where I was. Alright, well, we'll go back that way, because I wanted to go back this way anyway. Ooh, fire arrows. I didn't see that before. This isn't where I was. That must be the here. Yeah, this is, this is where I was. Well, so, Alright, we've got fire arrows and there are some fire barrels up there. Do I need fire barrels for anything? You never know. Let's go get them uh, and bring them down on the left just for the sake of. Oh, wait, I don't need to bring them on the left, I've got them accessible from. That's a good place, right? The bee, bee place, not Baffin's, but um, Brocious's state. Uh, these lifts are noisy and slow. I'm gonna get, throw them around everywhere as well, or chuck them in the water. I don't know, I don't know. Chuck them in the water, and then maybe I can't pick them up again. I don't know, I guess we'll have to find that out. I'm gonna go downstream. And it's got stuck there, alright. Can I get out of the water up here? No. Alright. Well, I've got an exploding barrel. I have no idea what I want to do with it. But why would you put two exploding barrels near some fire arrows unless there was something worth blowing up? 
I mean, there was the spider. That's obviously worth blowing up. But uh, I killed it before I had the fire arrows. So. I wonder if there's a way to get to that flame up there. I saw it before, but I've never got near it. It's hard to know in uh, with the land's design. How much is accessible? How much of what you can see through windows and stuff is hints at uh, other places you might get to? And how much is actually... Uh, well, actual places you can get to. Alright, back up here. So that is the waterfall and the sewers. You need to find a way to the alchemists and... Like, maybe I could blow open his door with these barrels? Seems unlikely. Just leave us here. Um, let's go back to the waterfall and grab the other barrel. Seems unlikely there's a metal door that he had, I'm pretty sure. Uh, although there's that other wooden door that I couldn't break. Uh, where's the second exploding barrel, by the way? Oh, the Brochus estate is north north of these falls. Alright, this isn't the best way to get there, is it? Where is the best way to get there? Bailiff Street? Bailiff Street. Uh, Alright, let's go back. Carefully down the ladder. Carefully down. Got it. Okay. Ah. All right. Um, there's also that that wooden door that didn't open. Maybe I can blow that one up. Either way, uh, I'm getting lost. Listen, Bailiff Street. Oh yeah, Bailey Street doesn't actually connect because I was down here. We go all the way around. Yeah, well, I guess we go all the way around. Should be no guards to bother us anymore. I think they're all unconscious. Or a long way away. People are still playing music. Um, yeah. God, it's steep hills too. All right, we're just about back at the marketplace up there. So let's let's see if one of these can uh, open the alchemist door. Shouldn't, right? Because uh, being metal, usually pretty damn indestructible, and probably needs a key. But it's worth a shot. Save in case it's a waste. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Alright, alchemists. He has some kind of creepy table. Hmm. It's got banners, but I don't think I can put down. Oh, I can. Yeah, kill the banners. Kill the creepy table. I think it's supposed to be. That's uh. Dark up here. He is out. Here's the body. Hmm, one cloud of bugs. Gold skull, I'll take that. What has he been doing with that body? I don't want to know. At least it's not coming alive on me. Uh, tiny speed potion and a healing potion. Well, I'll have the healing potion, thank you very much. He was weighing them. There's a breath potion that I can't seem to pick up. And another speed potion I can't seem to pick up. Oh, was that a key I picked up? Oh, bloody. Don't want the corpse's head. What was that key? I heard a key. Alchemist key. Alright. Oh, I wonder if I could reach the alchemist's key through that hole where the list brick was, and that's the other way in. That would kind of make sense. This is his bedroom. Oh wait, maybe that's the alchemist. Maybe he tried one of his own potions and it wasn't very good, and uh, his kind of died and has rotted here, and that's why... Well, 
I'm surprised then the neighbor isn't complaining about the stink, but I guess maybe that's the stink he was complaining about is the alchemist's body. And that's why he's never complaining about the alchemist making noise and bothering him. Uh, the, the fruit seller who was, you know, always complaining about to his neighbors. Um, never complained about about the alchemist's noise because the alchemist was uh, no longer capable of making noise. Nice, I like it. Uh, where's this going? I'm going to drop his uh, complaints back here just to, you know. He's gone and uh, he'll he'll blame his neighbors, of course, because of the complaint letters left here. And why not? Alchemist, you can go here. This is silly. But I'm doing this, but it's fun. Where's the other complaint? There we are. Take your complaints and your alchemist key and uh, look, all your food is gone. And stop bothering your neighbors. Alright, so what have I done? What have I achieved in terms of exploration? I've got the grate. I found the keeper's place down there. And I have found my way now into the alchemist's. I still haven't found my way here, so I wonder... There was a door there that didn't unlock, and I wonder if the second exploding barrel is going to help me with that. So I should go find it. And find out. There's no way into that bailiff street except from the canal, I guess. Alright, it's fine. Go for another swim. Oh, let me make a note for the other things so I don't forget. We've got the other... We've got the other... Uh, what looked like a secret door in the bookcase that I haven't explored. That I couldn't find a way to open and I should probably go back and have another look at. Yeah. Right, come on. Come on. Down the first waterfall. That door. That door. Alright, so now I need to go to where that second exploded barrel was. Have I been up on that ledge? Good question. Can I get to that ladder and have a look? Can't remember, I can't see very well enough from down here to recognise if it's a place I've been, but I probably have, right? Is that just Yeah, no no no, back to the ladder carrot. On to the ladder. You know how ladders work, kinda. That's it. Uh, is that actually a ledge? Ah, oh, no, that's the garden. That's just uh, an overhang. All right, not what I need. Just come down here. Be careful and pick up the barrel on our way on our way down the stream again. And I don't think I can get back to that ladder, can I? That's where I need to be, really. Let's swim against this current. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, it's much too strong. Alright, we're gonna take the long way around. And then precariously climb over chains. <laughs> Don't know how I could mantle that. Uh, precari precariously climb over chains while hold holding a barrel of explosives. Uh, this sounds like an eminently sensible plan. Not gonna go wrong at all, there's no possible way it could go wrong. Alright. Actually, while I'm here, take a quick look. Let's. Come on, get up. How about the flame up there? Put you down for a second. So that's not a door, that's. A hoe. I see some wooden boards up there. How do I get up there? I could maybe, I could shoot a rope up there and maybe get, jump across to it from that ledge. I've got a speed potion. So that might be a possibility. Is that a door I can open though? I don't know, alright, let's find out. Let's, let's try shooting an arrow up there. Did that stick in? I can't tell. No, that just disappeared, didn't it? I think so. Let me just double check with a rope arrow. That sounded like it's stuck in, but it's not left a rope. Alright, let's reload so I don't waste that rope. Uh, I don't care about the broadhead, obviously. Alright, so. Um, 
Why would the door be there if there's no way to get up there? I mean, there might not be a way up, up there. Maybe there's another part of the warehouse I haven't discovered yet? Uh, I can go look. Alright, first things first, let's make a note. Let's make a note. Uh, board it up door. Maybe we can do something there, but first, let's stick, stick with the plan of dealing with the other door. Or trying to deal with it. See if we can blow it up too. Maybe it's not a door at all. Maybe this is just another waste of time. And there's a perfectly obvious way in there that I haven't found. And these weren't doors, were they? I don't think they're actual doors. I wonder what it was I was stepping on, and it was just a guard I'd left in the street. Nothing important. Garrett, your fitness can be tested again as you run up all these hills. I like, I really like the, uh, how much up and down there is of the streets, and this really, uh, gives the city a lot of character. And of course helps a lot with making, uh, vertical ways around that start high, or start around about street level and get up to much higher places later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go all the way around and get to it from the canal again, right? Can't get to it from here, can we? Or maybe, no, no, this does go through. This does indeed go through. I don't know why I'm going to through before. Yeah. That's the garden, and this is Bailey Street. And here we have access to the water, and I need a rope arrow up there to get into where I'm trying to get to. So put you down. Why have I got two rope arrows left? Did I leave one at the waterfall? I might have left one at the waterfall. Uh, all right, let's climb. <laughs> well, there's a problem with only having two rope arrows left. It's, uh, for no, that's not what I meant to do. Not really. Uh, I was trying to pick up my rope and I threw the barrel uh, at the ground at my feet and this must be the one that I'd already kind of damaged by throwing across the room with the spider. Because it just instantly exploded. <laughs> Whoops! Uh... Well, I mean, uh, kind of effective, but not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's, let's put that down. I don't want to lose my rope. I'm going to go back and get it before I forget. Well, not try to throw the barrel at the floor. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Sometimes. Alright, and this time, I know I can just walk out this window, so I don't need to be scared about doing it. Alright, put you there. Let's see if it's gonna work. Probably not. It's probably a mess. It's probably a really bad idea. Yeah, it just blows up and doesn't open the door at all. Well, that's a waste. Um, I'm gonna reload in case the barrel is useful somewhere else. But for now, it's nice and safe in this building. Actually, no, I should take it back down to Bailiff Street. I can get it in Bailiff Street pretty easily. Um, so I'll just leave it in the street there. It's not a door. All these doors that aren't doors and makes you wonder which ones are doors. Alright. But that one has a handle, that's why it's suspicious. Okay, uh, so that's the barrel. That's the door that doesn't appear to open. So the only other thing I know is suspicious is that very same warehouse. Uh, the boarded up door by the warehouse. So I should get back there, shouldn't I? Oh, there's also the palace. The secret, secret door in the palace. And since I'm near the palace now, just around the corner is the back way into the palace. Maybe I should do that. Uh, there's that rope which I'm never getting back, although I could now, I'm almost full health. But uh, I don't need that one. Let's go around the back of the inn and to the palace grounds again. Those aren't actual doors, are they? No. Let's try the secret door in the palace and then we'll go back to the warehouse. Um, well, it's been an hour. I don't really want to um, split this up because this is really just a bonus episode in terms of the video, just a bonus episode of exploration. 
But I will need to get up and stretch my legs and probably make a cup of tea again. Uh, so I might just swap the stream once we're back here at the bookcase. This bookcase, again, that is very obviously a secret door. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take a short break and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Right, so now about this secret door, huh? How does this open? I thought I scoured the bookshelf for books that were actually levers. I'll do it a little more carefully this time. It's the obvious place to look for a... Uh, uh, a switch of some kind, but doesn't appear that there is any such thing. Unless the switch is on the door itself, which would be cunningly unexpected. Uh, hmm. It could be hidden here in the pitch blackness. I'd never see it. It's not quite that dark. And, uh, but no. Uh, I can throw skulls at it. It's not going to open it. There's a, there's a button there, but that's surely just this other secret door that I already unlocked, right? Let's just not lock the door, just in case. That's just going to be this one. No. What does that do? Ah, oh, Apparently nothing. I mean, maybe it's possible to get in this the other way. Alright. Uh, there's this map is on the wall, which is the only other thing around. Furniture. The levers hiding on the furniture. On the table. Like, it's suspicious that this, uh... Oh, of course she was investigating the keepers, but she's got keeper tiling here. And she's got a keeper map. Hmm. Maybe she was a keeper herself once. <laughs> Just like Garrett. Alright. So I thought I checked all these meerkats, and I don't really see any sign of a switch. Wait a second. Wait a second! <laughs> I checked all the meerkats, except the one that is the switch. Alright. Uh, problem solved. I keep seeming to stumble across these by accident rather than uh, actual thinking, one of these surely must be the switch. Alright, so that's that, and there's a lift. Whoops, no, no, come back up. Alright, quick. Alrighty. Dangerous. So where does this thing go? Oh, that one went. It's only two floors, right? Yeah. Okay, sounds like sewers again. Takes me to the basement of the inn. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. So that's the second escape route. So the door here I couldn't open. It's just fun. Although, presumably, again, I could have opened up with the explosives here. Alright. Um. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna ruin that guy's prank. Take the body back. Leave it for, uh. Palace Lady. Actually, I wonder, is there anything <coughs> under the left here? Get off. Quite a void, but nobody's dropped any loot there. Alright, come back down. Thank you. Alright, I'll, I'll, your prank that gave me the palace key, well, I'll actually prank the palace lady with it instead of the innkeeper. Alright, so she has two secret passages from her palace. One leading to the cellar of the inn, and one leading to the rooftops. Uh, I don't even remember where she is, so 
Well, let's just put it on the table here. That'll surprise her. Back close again? No? Yes? Aha. Can I close this one again? Skulls back on those little stands. Oh, come on. Where the scepter was. She will wonder what happened to it. Of course, she was chasing me around the street, so she will. She won't be wondering much. There we are. Nice little die around before Um. Um. Where's the estate key? Oh, palace. Palace key. What was this? No, whatever. I can't lock it again. All right. Uh, I don't think that is accessible. Nope. I think that's it for the palace then. Bloody fake bread. Still annoys me. Okay, so... We're done with the palace. Don't found the secret bookcase. So I think there's two things left. One is... Spurious Estate I think might be the window there. I'm going to have to go back and find out though. Um... Down here right now. And the other is this boarded door in the warehouse. So I want to check the warehouse again and see. Uh, wait, which way am I going? That's. Oh, there she is. Um, Alright, that, that way I need to climb. So there's no point going that way. Alright. Unfortunately, I've got an objective not to kill. Lady Judge, what's her name, so otherwise I'd probably uh, drop her in the river. Actually, I could, I could be really ridiculous and take her all the way to the Keeper place. That would be very silly. But then that would that would thwart the Keepers, and uh, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It's ridiculously silly. But it's fun, because Garrett doesn't like the Keepers' ways of meddling and everything, and he certainly doesn't like the Judge's ways of meddling and everything, and... She was after the keepers, but uh, got put onto him by them. So, but she'll she'll be in their place, but unconscious. Presumably, they'll abduct her or something and lock her up in a cell, never to be seen again. But they probably won't kill her. It's not really their style, as far as I know. And uh, it's going to take me forever to walk around town carrying this, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, Garrett. You can go faster than this. I know this isn't really doing finding secrets anymore, but uh, it pleases me to be, you know, in the fiction, to be winding up both the Keepers and Lady Algebra. I keep forgetting her name. Uh, is there a quicker way back to Bailiff Street? It's all the way north, isn't it? Unless it's just away from the palace. I mean, there's a bit of palace there, but it didn't really seem to be accessible. Maybe this is a worse idea than I thought. However, while I'm up that area, I can then check out the brochure's place as well, I guess. So I don't need to, you know, worry too much about... Yeah. About everything. I wonder if I can get in the back door of the keepers where they... Spider was. Well, that of the sewers. Come on, come on. Uh, hello, Dusk Fall in the chat. What item is this? This is Disorientation by Milan. Alright, we're almost there. Back down the Bailiff Street. Uh, you've missed uh, more than half of it already. This is like, I'm just going around now and collecting, well, looking for odd, looking for uh, things I didn't find before. I had a key, which I didn't know have door matching yet. I had, um, this is the wrong place. I don't know where I'm going. You stay there for a minute. Um, the key without a door, I had a secret door that I hadn't found a way to open. Uh, various things like that. There's still one more such secret that I need. 
Uh, I'm lost. Where am I trying to get to? Uh, these falls is the entrance, but the exit. Where was the exit? The exit was up here, wasn't it? Stay there. Um, oh, the exit was across from the Brocious Estate. How do I get to the Brocious Estate? There's the ladder there. Uh, Alright. And that's a jump. I, there's no way I can make that jump, actually. So I do need to take it back to the other falls. Now, I don't know the answer to this question. If you're carrying an unconscious body and you're swimming in the water, do they drown? I guess I'm going to find out. I hope not. Because then I'll lose the mission. But it's the quickest way back to the waterfall. Um, See, so yeah, I need to get back on those ledges. But not, this, now is not the time. This body... Yep, she drowned. She drowned, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I mean, yes, sure, I technically, as I was swimming along, I was holding her head underwater. It makes sense that she's drowning. But now I've got to go back the long way, unless maybe the garden... No, the garden isn't going to give me a shortcut, is it? I don't think. Yeah, why did I come all this way? Why did I embark on this ridiculous plan? Just for the sake of uh, the fictional Garrett having a bit of fictional fun with these fictional characters. But, you know, his whole reason to break steel and set to was to spite her, and then finding out that the keepers were what put, put her onto him in the first place, well, he's not going to let that go. So I can't let that go. Even though it's a long way to go, and I came this way needlessly. Not that far to go. It's just a little bit slow going, buddy. Always the worst. Down here, around some more steps. Wait. Uh, yes, Or Street, the bridge there looks out of the falls. Uh, how did I get up? Oh, God, no, I had to jump across past the statues to get there. This isn't going to work either. There's no way I can make... Oh, maybe with a speed potion and I can make that jump with the body. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to have to try it. I guess I'm going to have to try it. Speed potion jumps. Or carrying bodies. Oh, that's the warehouses. And actually... Yeah, that's kind of a back way out. And there's a door somewhere around here. Oh, up by the bridge. That also leads into the warehouses. Oh. <coughs> Oh, it's a condemned building. Do not attempt to enter. Now that's tempting, isn't it? But there's no obvious way in. There's the statues. Plank, plank. Alright, let's try this silly idea of carrying bodies around over waterfalls and through sewers and... I don't know what... This isn't gonna work, is it? This is... this is... So ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright. Actually, I can probably make that jump even with a body. Yeah, short enough. Alright. Uh, I didn't get my rope back, did I? So it should still be here. Yeah, alright. Let's try to grab it. No, 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 no. I'm going to reload that because that was a bad jump and she's going to die. Uh, for some reason, I'm still carrying her, but. Her body has disappeared from my view. Alright, she'll get a bit of water there. No. Can I drown again? There we are. You can actually see that we're carrying her again. Let's try this again. There's a very awkward jump. As I said, it must be really, really difficult for the keepers. If this is their only way in and out, I guess they got the, they got the way by Brocious's over there. But uh, this is a really inconvenient way in and out. No wonder. I mean, that tramp who was trying to get in here must have been a keeper. No! I didn't mean to do that. That's what I had to do. Throw her in the water. Dear, oh dear. Safe here. No, oh, no, no, no. Because that way. Come on, Garrett. You can do it. You did it before. 
Where's your jumping? Why aren't you jumping? Like, stand in the water. No. Yeah. There we go. No wonder that keeper that they thought was a tramp kept. Uh... All right, let's do, let's do this proper. Uh, that they thought was a tramp was uh, drowned, trying to you know fell all to his death and drowned trying to get in here. I mean, assume it's a keeper. Uh, because, dear, oh dear, it's, uh, not easy at all. Right, so that is the back way out, which I'm going to go through, because that gives me easy access to the Brocious Estate, which I want to check out. But, also... Oh god, I closed it all up, didn't I? Where's my, uh, uh, tarnished key? Yeah, it's not only is it locked access to the sewers entirely, that's only accessible from the, blood, the locked door by the waterfall. Their way into the keeper place is also pretty thoroughly locked. Alright, so I'm now going to find her here. And she, hopefully they find her first, right? She'll, she'll find the people who she was really after. They'll find her and realise that I, Garrett, uh, brought her here to fuck with them, basically. <coughs> Good night, sweet dreams. And Garrett will be laughing in his sleeves all the way home. Uh, and it really won't help him, but he'll have had his fun. They'll both be madder at him now. And, uh, you know, maybe the worst. Maybe I'll discover that in the next mission. I think there's a follow up? Not sure. But maybe I'll discover that in the next mission um, they've teamed up against him. That would be quite appropriate given this behaviour. All right. One more block. Uh, what was that for? All right. Uh, do I want to get my rope? I don't care about that rope. I've still got two left. Um, this way does get me near the Brocious Estate, so this is the way I want to go. Bring the lift back down. Quite a long way. Wait, does this now? I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. Does this get me near the brush estate? I think so. There's a long way to go. Okay, that's where the, that was the way to where the room with fire arrows. Halfway up the lift. Yeah, this lift takes me up to the spider. Wow. I didn't really think think about it before, but we're a very long way underground here. That's a long way up. And this takes us back up to water level. Dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. I guess you could probably just see, yeah, you could possibly see the fire arrows through that window if you look. But, um. Close that again. Again, yeah, I'll leave our tracks covered. Anyway, here's the spider room. With our dead friend and that flickery light. All right, so I did want to be here, and I think you can make that jump. Yes. Now, my question is... Oh, that's right, this doesn't want really to go anywhere. Where's the upstairs? Oh no, this doesn't help me. Ooh, still a guard here, is there? I heard a guard making guard noises. Right, my question is... Yeah, this is taking us down here. That's not where we want to be at all. There's a window here with a door behind it. How do I get in there? I mean, there's a hallway that I could see through the window with a door that I could actually throw and open. There's got to be a way in there somewhere. This is the precious estate that I was just crammed in here. Obviously, that's the keeper's back exit. Um, that's the upper, upper part. I'm in the lower part now. Door. You don't have any loot, do you? Nope. Um. So being here. Who goes there? Ah, hello. Oh, you got a sword. I don't care. Oh, he's guarding. He's also guarding part of the precious estate. So I went up there before. That's right. 
did go up there before with a rope. I didn't climb out along this chain because there didn't seem to be any point to it. Yeah, that's me. And there still doesn't seem to be any point to it. I just have to risk falling off. Let's go back up here and uh, see what we got. Where did this take me? So that door didn't open, and this was just a uh, power station. Wait, where am I? I'm facing south now. Alright, so this is halfway up the falls. Um, I wonder if I can get across there. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Did I do it before? I can't remember. Seems unlikely, but worth a shot, right? Nope. Mm. Let's try once again. You know, that should be possible. That should definitely be possible. I'm not sliding down that roof as fast as I expected to. In fact, I can climb the roof. You know what? No, I might need the speed potion for the warehouse. I'm sure there's something over there. There's definitely a place behind that, right? Go up, the, up the roof, go. Put some odd sound out of the artifacts. Oh, no, no, we need to jump back in here, Garrett. There we are. See, I knew you could do it. Uh, that door doesn't open. Maybe there's nothing here at all. Uh, which is quite possible. There's a fence in my way. And uh, a long drop down to another ledge. Which looks like it's got nothing added either. Ooh, it'd be nice if there was a secret here, but okay. Uh, can I make it back? Or am I going to have to reload? I'm going to have to reload. Cool. Alright, so... That's not where I needed to be. And it's not getting me to where I wanted to be. Which is to the north. Uh, that's right, there's a thief here patrolling up down here. For whatever reason. That's the priory, I guess. Well, there's a bunch of buttresses sort of things there that I could stand on, but not really any reason to. But maybe it gives me an easy way down by rope. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Ah! Maybe. Maybe Garrett can fall to his death again. He likes doing that. Alright, I should save before trying acrobatics like that, shouldn't I? Uh, there was, was there a ladder? I remember a ladder somewhere. Oh, the ladder's down to the street. Garrett. Garrett. Oh god, I'm in top shape today. Alright. So, this is not getting me any closer to the Brocious place. I want to, let's just say, I want to drop down onto one of these. Oh, that works. Yeah, probably. So, uh, oh, this is continuing to go further south if I go that way. And well, I don't remember where. <laughs> What's going on over there? I don't know. Where are we? I can't check my map. Where can I check my map? There we are. Uh, there's a street that runs up back here, I guess. Oh yeah, it runs down to Widow's Way. Okay, so that's just the way of Widow's Way in the full house. That doesn't give me any way useful. Alright, so, where, the question is, where it does get me somewhere useful? If I can't find my way through that door pretty quickly, I guess I'm going to have to, to the window, I guess I'm going to have to give up on it. But, not just yet. Uh, the other question is, did I try a rope up there? Where does that take me? The 
other question is, I keep seeing new potential avenues for exploration. No, the other thing, apart from the windows in the north that I'm still waiting to find out, is the boarded up doors by the warehouses in the southwest. Did they come here already? Uh, garden? Oh, this is the same garden. Alright, it's just an alternate way to the garden. Uh, okay, that's fine. I think, maybe. No. Let's go. Oh, I can get down safely, that's fine. Uh, that's right. And jump back across. Nope! Oh, come on, Garrett. Alright, well, I guess I'll just save here, am I? There we are. Uh. Just do me any good. I'll stick a rope in there, that's pointless. Can't get back up onto that ledge, I don't think. Let's try. Nope. Alright, I guess we're going to the warehouses since we're in the water. I don't have any idea about those windows. Whee! This should sell theme park rides. Take your photo as you come off the waterfall. Alright, and there we go. Having, having this steeply flowing river through the city is a really nice design touch. I mean, it's kind of annoying there's not more ways out of the river along the way that you basically that I keep having finding myself down here at the uh, warehouses. But it's still still a very nice touch. Um, it's very fun when it's not when when you're just going with it rather than uh, frustrated by it where it doesn't look good. All right, the warehouses. I needed to get into these apartments above me, which I think was through here somewhere. Uh, up there. That's right. Where people have conveniently left ladders for people like me to break in. Oh, Mr. Beefy Man. Alright, so this was the way to the. Oh, oh God, that's close. Uh, I probably would land in the river. So, the question is, how do I get over there? Is it boarded up door? Is that significant? Or is it just there to taunt me? Now, rope arrows don't stick in those boards. But presumably those boards... Actually do something. Also, now while I'm here, let's zoom in and look at this fire. Now, I'm sure there's no way to get to the fire there. That does remind me. There's a gate here. Just one more thing I've got to explore. Try and find a way into that gate. And that may be related to the window here, I don't know. I don't think I've been in this power station area either. Just mark that. Um, keep thinking of places to explore. Uh, well, that makes a nice change from all the faffing about with... Uh, just following your objectives. Right, I'm going to try another fire arrow, still got two, see if they can destroy the boards, and if that just makes the doors open. This is a ridiculous idea. Destroys the boards, but is it going to do anything else? See, now I do that, and I notice just that actually have handles. I can't quite see, it kind of looks like it does. This one's down. Those ones very clearly do. No, it doesn't have a handle, does it? I bet it doesn't open up at all. I bet that's just a red herring. Oh, I'm just wasting my fire arrows. Um, however, I will briefly go in here and look around to the south. And again, see if there's any kind of... Alright, oh, that doesn't open. But I did explore this way, so... Wait, it wasn't up here, it was that other doorway. Idiot. Um, I did explore this way, and didn't really see any reason to suspect I could go further south. Uh, I did go up there. I if I can do it without a rope. I can just climb up on this thing. I can indeed, alright. I thought that was a bit high, but nope. 
Yeah, so that door would get me through, but it's not actually a way to go. There's a vent there. There's another passageway here, which does lead to the south, but not... Well, bricked up. That just leads out above the street down there. So I guess I'm going to conclude... Uh, I might be wrong. I'm going to conclude for now that we can't actually get into those boarded up doors. Um, and I will have to come back later to check them out. Which means now... So there's still a question, but if there's a way in, I'm going to need more hints. Um, there's this window here, there's this gate here, possibly the workstation there. I'm going to go right up, back up to Trundle Street. Oh dear, is that going to trigger my objective? I hope not. That'll be annoying if it triggers my objective just by going there, you know, the mission success. Um, I guess we can find out. Let's go Trundle all the way back north. Careful now, Garrett. Check the other windows just in case. Yeah. Uh, wait, wasn't there also a vase on a ledge that I couldn't reach? There was. Uh, why am I going this way? This doesn't give me where I need to go, does it? Where does this take me? That's taking me to windows way, and that's the back door to the priory. Does it go through? Uh, goes through the Brochester Estate, which doesn't get me further north. Oh, it gets me there, but that doesn't really get me to the Bay Street, so I do need to go back west and around. Uh, oh, can I get out of the roof of the inn? You know what? I can. I can climb on these gallows. One more place I haven't been. I keep finding them. There's two, ro two ropes hanging from the gallows now. That must be symbolic of something. Look, there's an open window. Wow, alright. Save. Good work, Garrett. Oh, yeah, I can't get in. If I can uh, steal their money. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, can I get back down easily, safely? Just talking down to the back of this, is that now? Um. Maybe jump across there. Ah, well, didn't hurt much. Okay. Well, that was more loot I didn't didn't know about. 2,500 now out of, what was it, 3,500, I think, total? Still missing a thousand. Where is it? I don't know, but, um... The statues... Oh, that's right, it's a long way around, all the way around past the uh, inn and the market. Uh, we have to listen to that dreadful music they leave playing on loop at the inn. Yeah, I'll drink a bit more of my tea before it gets too cold. Which is why I'm walking sideways and my hand was off the mouse. Alright. There, 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 there. Okay. Uh, so that way leads to the market, doesn't it? No, oh, that's the market. Um. Oh, that, oh, that way leads down to Baylor Street, so it would have got me through. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm going to save here, because I don't want to trigger end game objective if I can help it, but it might trigger without me intending it. It will. It will. I'm sure it will. Because this is the gate here that I couldn't open. Uh, oh no, it doesn't seem to be triggering yet. If I go up there, just a few steps north it will. Alright, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Anything up here to climb on? Not really. Um, hmm. Those have got wood. 
Didn't open, surely. Wooden beams around them. No, they're not open. Well, there's a crate, it might come in handy. Um, but what for? I don't know. Alright. Where's this connected on the map? This works place, but I don't think I can get there. That's gotta be this door here, right? That's not actual actual door doors, they don't really open. High windows. Also not an actual door. Uh is that an actual gate? I mean it looks like a place, but it could just be a dead end. Oh, uh, it goes to the crash cliff gate. That probably doesn't open. Now, what's the ledge? I mean, there's a possibly a ledge up there that's accessible. From. Oh, yeah, that should be accessible from that place. Which means I've been there. That means I should probably try going there again. Because I don't remember what's there. Do that. <laughs> My guy, get in the window. Man, to lean to narrow windows like that's always, always risky. <laughs> that's right, this person had a secret passage that led to a room full of more crates, uh, which is great for exploration. Oh, this is the way I came into. So, what's me call them? <laughs> Braggadociuses, no, the, the Beauregards. Wow, which means, did I actually go out the window? I can't remember. Well, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do it now. Uh, yeah, I found the Beauregard estate was like the first place I robbed. I just uh, went there. Um, did I see something on the rafter there? Maybe it's just the wall. That's a room with an open door, which suggests I've already been in there a lot and robbed it. But I don't remember this place at all. Oh, I have been in here. But I didn't come this way. I came the other way. Oh, I'm confused now. Yeah, I remember not commenting on these windows from down below. Uh, I came in from here. Where does this go? Or is this still by the Burrow Guards? I don't know. No, oh, because the Burrow Guards couldn't afford any guards. Alright. Hmm. Ah, we're here. That's the watch station, right? Okay, so this is probably the answer to the whole thing that was bothering me. What about that open window, which is just over that way, I think. Is that just part of this? No. Because I came in here just a bit ago when I was exploring. <laughs> yeah, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Your open window's further south. You know, unless these people have a secret passage hidden behind their bookshelf. Which is a ominous bookshelf, but doesn't appear to have any secrets. No levers around their beds or anything. Um, painting a door that doesn't open, I don't think I can knock down, right? No. Again, it's just here for, uh, to suggest, I guess, more of the level. I don't think I'm going to be able to open that, even if I take the explosives to it. It's going to be just like those other fake doors. Uh, Alright. Yeah, we're just up here. That's the falls I see there. So, is there a way to get in over those falls? Up to the north, because there's definitely a place up to the north. I could jump. Uh, I could try my speed potion again. And swim upstream with it. That's worth a try, it's probably foolish. Well, not especially if I do it like that, you know. I can swim upstream with a speed potion, but is there anything up here? There is. 
Hmm. I kind of needed that. Thought I needed this uh, speed potion elsewhere. There's a place where there's a vase across the street from the exit from the palace. That uh, I don't know. Oh. I've been here. No. Oh well, this is what this is uh, the access there. But this is not the is this not the intended way in, Skaki? Skaki is just laughing at my uh, solution there. Um, what is this place? More locked doors. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever used a speed potion while swimming before. I think that's the first time I've ever done it, but. Uh, I had speed potions on the mind. Um, wow, this is a whole entire area that I have not been to. Nice garden. Uh, is that a balcony that I could get up to? Well, there's a chain that runs across the way, but it doesn't run too anywhere, right? Uh, it doesn't really look like I could get up there, although... Saying that, there's wooden, definitely wooden rafter there. I can probably... Probably do that. Where does this kick me? Whose place is this? And where am I? Whoa! Lots of crates. Big crates and an enormous bookshelf. And more crates. Dramatic sting. What's going on? The fools! They thought they could just ignore, ignore me. Ignore the coming of the future. How blind they are. Like sheep. To think they do not realize how my crates could change their lives. A crate in every house and every room. But as sheep, they are not just blind, they are soft. Ha ha! I visited Provostoro to talk reason to him, but he refused to listen. He wanted to call someone to restrain me. What a fool! To think he could just silence progress. His money was mine, and I could use it all to further my craft. I also got myself a sword and a few other tools to gain more funding. Now they acquiesced, all of them I visited, one way or another. And with that, there are now two beauties in this apartment. They are safe here. Now that the new crate is finished, and there are also so many small ones, it is time for a new, an even greater endeavor. Oh yeah, a new beginning. Um, he wants to take over the world with crates. Uh, and if you look at most uh, computer games, he's basically succeeded already. Well, uh, if I was the sort to enjoy stacking crates to get to odd corners of the map, I have a pretty damn good supply of them here. And here. Does that move? No, don't think so. Uh, good supply of crates for stacking. Anything on this one? I mean, more crates, obviously. Where would you store your crates, but on top of a bigger crate? Anything on the bookshelf while I'm up here? Nope. Millions and billions and trillions of crates. Alright. Um. Okay. And a bed. Does he eat crates? Where is he now? Is he off purloining more crates? Uh, he's even got a picture of himself. That's crate bound. I guess. Okay. Right. Let's try up here. See what we get. Oh, we got a rope that doesn't come all the way down. How convenient. Alright. Thankfully, there's a door here. Um. Yeah, another crazy crate guy. Skeki just says crazy crate guy, which is a running uh, gag in the lands missions. I know he was in bad debts as well, I don't really remember exactly where. Um, I'm not sure I came across him. Well, he came across a room full of crates, but didn't come across any notes. I don't know if it's the same guy or not. Um, rooftops I could possibly access. Balcony I'm not sure I can access. I can. Am I stuck here? These windows are open. This door doesn't open. 
Uh, have some flowers. Well, I can get down, that's for sure. I can walk on this spiky fence without hurting myself because I have loud steel boots. So now I finally understand why Garrett wears these steel boots everywhere. So he can walk on spiky fences without hurting himself. Well, this is steep and dangerous. Uh, I'm not really sure it's supposed to be up here. Because uh, I can see the sky. I was going to look over at that. Is there anything over there? Probably not. No, I'm definitely not supposed to be up here because I can see the sky everywhere. And everything disappearing. But I'm up here now. You can't stop me. You fools. You thought you could stop a creep man. But you can't stop Garrett. Master clamberer. And thief. Um... Yeah, well, if I'm in a bit of the level where it's, there's not going to be any loot out here, so yeah, there's really not much point in doing this, except for my own cu curiosity, which is probably not uh, worth wasting your time for, for anyone who's watching this. Uh, yeah, climb over here, carefully, I just want to stand on this edge, so I can look down safely. Uh, what's that there? There's a room there. I can see, I can see some loot in a room behind the curtain. I haven't been there. God damn it! I didn't want to. Just, I didn't come up here on this roof. There we are. No, I can't stand. I can't stand safely on this edge. I didn't come all the way up here to find that there's more loot hidden away. No, 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 no. Right, this is safe. God damn it! There's more loot hidden away over there. How the that's not a door, right? That, that wasn't a door. Maybe it is a door. Ah, oh, there's a curtain. Alright. So if I go across the way, if I, instead of going on this roof, if I go over there... How do I get there? Oh, that's a really good question. Is that wood? Doesn't look like wood, does it? That roof? Oh, that is wood. So I guess I can rip my way up there. Uh, I don't remember how I got this roof. Oh, there. There's my rope. Let's see if I can get back down onto my rope without dying. So we can hope. No, no, Garrett. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There we are. Wow, Garrett did not die for once. Um, I want my rope back, so how am I going to do this? Oh, I can just grab it from here, right? Come on, Garrett. Take it. You can drop down from the chain onto a tree or something. Or maybe even onto the vines. I don't know if I can climb those vines. I can. Alright, that's a nice safe way down. Oh! Moss arrows! They might have been handy earlier. Never mind. Okay, so that does look like a wooden roof. So I guess that's going to get... Or maybe that's why the chain goes there. Or maybe I don't need it. Let's just try it here first. I can just climb up. Out of my way, tree. Why must you obstruct me with your pagan ways? Yeah, alright. Uh, we'll change the way back, that's for sure. Alright. So we have another room, another rich person's place that I have not been to before. And this is what I saw, this little glass shining across the way, which I really only noticed because it was clambering on the roof over there. I don't know how you would be expected to find this unless you're getting to those out-of-bounds areas, but, yeah, okay. 2570, we're still a thousand short, as far as I know, from the actual amount of loot in the mission. And I know where one more vase is that I have not been able to get. But beyond that, it's like, where the hell is all this loot hiding? Uh... I also, I wonder if there's another dope fish in this mission or not. There was a hidden dope fish in Bad Depths. Um, but, uh, who knows. Alright, uh, yeah, so I've been in there. Right, so now where am I going? Uh, I wasted my speed potion, so which means I don't have it where I was planning to use it. So that's not a door. What's the, what's the actual... 
What's, what is the actual way in, that you're supposed to get in here? I don't know, because that's the way out. I don't know if there's another way in that I'm completely missing. Maybe there's another way to the rooftop area? I don't know. Did I go up here? No, I didn't go up here. What have we got up here? Maybe this leads to the way in. Another switch that doesn't switch. Um, if you've got knife switches or something, they are very attractive looking switches. Oh, this must be, this must be the way in. This must be the intended way in. Guess, maybe. Where does this take me? Oh, this is a way out. Uh-huh. Any wood? No. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I can climb on those spikes now because of new metal or not. Uh oh, I see. There's a little ledge on the side of the thing. This is the statue. I wonder if the eaves of that are made of wood. Wow, well, more rooftops I can climb on. Uh, for better or worse. I wonder if I find more loot that I've missed. Hmm. Doesn't look entirely safe up here, but I can. There's a ledge here I can stand on it and I can jump across there. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Okay, there's an easy way. I'm definitely not supposed to be here because there's no room brush, there's no sound. Can I get over there? Go. You came that way, you can go back. Come on, surely. There you are. Hmm, what about this roof? Yep, can't stand on that roof. Alright, whatever clambering I might have been able to do there, I'm not going to be able to do now. However, uh, still uh, conveniently puts me at this place, but still does not answer the question of this window here. Where the hell can I get on the other side of the window? Maybe not. Maybe the loot that I could reach through the window was all there was. But then, why is there a door there? Why was there a door there that opens? I really don't know. Uh, however, I've been to the workplace. I've been to the gate. Um... The only questions really I've got is this boarded door, which I've concluded is not accessible, but I could be wrong on. Uh, and this place here. But, we're still missing a whole thousand loot. I'm not going to play, I'm not going to record this and stream it until i found it all. That would be... Ugh, that would be way too, way too excessive. Um, and, although I'd like to look up the forums to find answers to things like, is it possible to get to the other side of those boarded up doors, and is it possible to get to the other side of this damn window? Um, questions like that, I would be interested to know, you know, other areas of the map I haven't got to. Is there loot I haven't found is uh, not really a question I'm overly interested in. Uh, there's plenty of other people that are going to explore maps for every last bit of loot, and uh, that's fine, because that's a good fun way to play. I'm just not really into that sort of thing. Uh, most of the time, and especially not when I've still, you know, being so late with all these fan missions, I've still got like 20,000 odd of them to catch up on. So, yeah, that's the way in. So clearly, if you can get on there, you could jump across on that bit there. You jump across to the statue ledge. God, Milan likes clambering around the face of statues and jumping over things, doesn't she? Uh, he, she, I don't know. Uh, the name sounds feminine. Uh, and then you could jump to there, and yeah, if you see here, there's a gap in the fence. I guess that's the intended way to get to the crazy crank man's place. Uh, oh, Skaki says, the solution is simpler. Well, I'm sure that, uh, perhaps so. Perhaps, perhaps so. These windows are too narrow to get out of, so you can't get out here to start that process. Alright, anyway, I, uh, I mean, by all means, uh, spoil the actual solution since I don't need it anymore, since I found my way there anyway, through, uh, you know, magics and potions. Um, right, what am I doing? Where am I going? I think, okay, there's two things. One, I do want to go back and take another look at the vase, which I, uh, oh. 
How did I get here? I can't remember. Oh. Hello. Hello. And this is the same guard station. Did I come up here on these rafters before? No, but that's just an easy way to avoid the guards. Okay. Um... All right, so uh, in terms of the solution to the, the intended solution of the way up to this place, um, there's apparently some wood here so you can rope your way up. Uh, possibly that roof there is, yeah. Yeah, so you can rope your way up there and then jump across the ledge where the fence. Okay, no clap, no jumping around over the statues needed. Maybe though, maybe you're supposed to jump around the other way over the statues. I should take a look, you know. Who knows? Maybe there's a coin hidden there. Didn't I just say I'm not going to go obsessively search for all the loot? I did. Yeah, that's definitely wood. I did say I'm not going to obsessively, obsessively search for all the loot, but you know what? I'm going to take a look. Just because I like my jumping around by the statue idea. That's going to be another rope I'm not going to get back. See, why does that... Yeah, don't, don't fall, Garrett. Why is there a ledge there? Doesn't have any loot on it. Why is there a ledge here? Alright, <coughs> never mind. Never mind. Right, but that's that's the way the... Uh, up there, the way to get to the Great Man. Alright, so I came out this other door and have this vague memory that I was intending to go somewhere. But I don't even remember where I am and how I got here. Alright, oh, that's where I came in and started all these shenanigans a while back by jumping over there. Alright. Uh, so I can't get back down that way because that's too far to fall, isn't it? I can jump into the water here, maybe. Oh. Ouch. I'm gonna save my health. Uh, if I wanna need it. And reload that. Alright. Back at street level. Okay. Coming back towards the market. Now, the escape route, there's a. You see my rope's still there that I can't actually reach unless I go back and get all the crazy great mass crates and stack them, but nah, I'm not doing that. Up on this ledge. Over here, do you see that vase? I see that vase. That's an insane vase. Is that wood? That doesn't look like wood. Maybe it's wood. It's probably too high anyway, even if it would get... Uh, even if... It sounds like wood. Okay, that is wood. Um. Well, if I climb on top of the market stall, which I can do, but if I climb on top of here... Alright. Maybe. I'm never getting my broadhead back, but that's alright. That's what they're there for. Sacrificial. I can get up here. And what do we have? Another roof. Can't reach the ledge from here, but... What's that? What's the spotlight? I can get on this roof, no doubt. Nope! Oh. Not like that. Come on, go. Mantle. Nope. Oh. Carrot. You know the thing where you put your hands on the thing and climb up? Yeah, not that thing. Ah! Maybe I can't mantle up there. Maybe that's just a distraction. Um, that's also wood, so I could definitely get, get up there as well, but that doesn't really help me. Although, if I noticed that earlier, getting up there would have probably allowed a back way into the palace. Uh, via the rooftop and clambering around over that rooftop in fact and around this clock tower speaking of the clock tower no it's metal it's got wooden beams inside it but how do you get inside the clock tower surely there's a way again stacking boxes is always one answer how do I get up there because that ledge appears to stop right uh, I've been up on that area with the gargoyles but there was no obvious way to get higher well, I'm here now. 
Uh, and it looks like a rope here will be reachable from the ground. So I'm going to do it. Put a rope up there. And climb up. At least I'll be, I should be able to get my second rope back, right? Maybe. Or at least get onto it. Make it useful again. Um, wait, that was my rope. I was using that to try and get down, wasn't I? Can I stand on the spotlight? I can. Yay, got my rope back and then die doing it. Hooray. Alright, let's take that one. I should have looked here and noticed that was a better way down. But there were guards there at that point and I was trying to avoid the guards. Alright, back onto the roofs. Come on. <laughs> on the roofs. Well. Uh, see, how do I get up there? Surely there's a bell tower. There's a way into it. But, uh... Crate stacking is not the thing. So this is where I saw all that vase from. I, I I was just thinking, you know, when I said I didn't want to use my speed potion, um, I didn't want to use it at the water, uh, to swim up, up the waterfall. That's kind of because I thought of using it here to jump across and get that vase, but of course I couldn't make that jump, it's too high. Even a speed potion wouldn't help me though, I need a potion of flying, which is not really a thing that uh, exists. And this place, I don't believe, connects to where that vase is. Unless that... Unless that uh, opens and gets through. But uh, I don't know how we get up onto that guy. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any wood around here. It's not a wooden roof. Again, crates. I could stack crates to get up to it. Maybe, maybe that's a way, but... I'm not going to be quite that obsessive. Um, and this is all just more of the escape route leads to another bell tower, but not the same one. Uh, I've been down. Oh, there's another exploded barrel. I've been down there everywhere, basically. At this point, I think I'm pretty much ready to call it done and explored. It's been uh, about two hours total. Is there anything hiding behind these barrels? Oh, there's a mine. Didn't notice that before, alright. Not that I have a use for it. I could blow up the barrels. Oh, good that does. There's the vines I could climb here, and I did. I don't remember there being anything up here. So why the vines exist? I wondered. I couldn't find an answer. Uh, perhaps stacking crates here gets you somewhere. Maybe one of those windows opens. I don't know. It all seems seriously suspicious. Um, but... There's no real point doing this, is there? It's not like any of them have loot in them. Um, Skeku reminds me there's a half off by that window that I grabbed. That is true, there was. And that is reason to go up there, there was some loot. And that was actually what got me the loot objective, come to think of it. Uh, and then this way leads to another wall <laughs> with a fence that I can't get past. Oh god, I can hear that music again. Um, let's leave before it sticks in my ears for good. Alright, so I'm I'm calling it stumped. Whoops. Ow. Don't do that, carrot. Calling this stumped in terms of the whole, uh, what do you call it? Border up door and the other place. Um, wait, that's the wrong way. I'm confused. Where am I? Where does this go? Am I lost? What? Oh, this is actually the, this is actually the way back to the palace, yeah. Alright. So here we are, we were just here earlier. Uh, and I couldn't close the secret door to make it look like I'd never been here. Alright, I'm going to call this done as far as the boarded up door and that window I couldn't get to the other side of. And I'm sure, given there's, you know, I've only got... What was it? 2500 loot right now? Let's just check the total. 
2570, and I believe it was 3500 or something about that total. It's definitely a lot more than I currently have. There's a lot more loot hiding in this level. Who knows where? But um, I'm going to uh, end this here. I'm going to check the forums. I'll, uh, I'll stay on the stream for a bit, but if there is, if if there's an easy answer to those things, I'll come back and do it. Otherwise, I will um, just call this done. So thanks again for watching, and I might be back in a few minutes with some more answers. Okay, so we're here at the warehouses again, and I've come back here. I have found another secret door in this flooded room. I uh, was looking in the water before and found loot, but I never looked at this little grating here. And what do you know? It's also a secret door. Now we've got some carpets that look like oversized scrolls or bedrolls, actually. Uh, and some actual carpets. And a lift! Alright, where does this take me? Up. Oh, there's four floors and I can only go all the way to the bottom from this one. Yes, all the way to the bottom is where I'm going. Um, that's not ominous. This isn't ominous at all. Can't hear any spiders, but uh I can hear a uh I can hear a voice. I see a face in the wall. I can't understand what you're saying, mate. You need to work on your addiction. Yeah, so do I too. Is that a trap? It feels trappy. <laughs> Let's not walk in front of it. Yeah. Come on, get off. Pile of skulls. kind of shrine. It looks like uh, the hammers came in and broke it because they left a hammerhead there. But... Uh, this isn't really seems to be getting me anywhere. Oh, it's a hammer. Or bones. Skeleton, barrel. Oh, now I can go. Oh, wait, no, that's the floor I started on. So, floor three is the one that. Oh, sorry, second from the bottom is the one I can't reach from the left, right? So, am I missing anything in here, or is it just here to be creepy? This is another. Oh, there's a key. Key found far underground. Indeed. Alright. That's what I was missing. Alright, I guess now we go back upstairs and hopefully right to the top would have been where that key and the door we couldn't open was. I wonder if there's any way in there. I don't know. I'll try again actually after opening this. Just 
we go back down, try standing on the ledge again and see if we can open that other gate. But we probably can't. But who knows, maybe this key does it. Uh, we're kind of properly standing on the ledge. Uh, we can grab bones through the through the fence, which I was not expecting to do, to pick up a, a random rib cage off that skeleton there. But this gate does not even prop. So I'm guessing I can't go there. And it's got no switches at all. Back up we go. Bring our lucky rib cage with us. So this is the condemned building. Creepy bells. and I wasn't sorry. Not at all. Okay. Can I drop that? No? What? Oh right, it's just... Can't drop it in most places. Okay, some weird physics. Alright, we're back behind the statues here and there's a way down here. Where does this take me? Ventilation ducts. Doesn't open. So must. All right, and oh, ah. So if I had stopped, uh, if I come come in this way, I would have found this grate, found these ducts, um, got here, and presumably removed this plate. Oh, that does open. But then I guess this door doesn't open from the side. That I would have thought, oh, that's just a way to get to the statues. Because uh, I guess that switch doesn't... Yes, only, only that door. So it wouldn't let me into the condemned building. So it's good that uh, I didn't go that way. But yay, we can get here after all. Hooray, I think that deserves one final victory leap into the waterfall. Um, oh, not the mine, I don't need mine. Here we go. Success! Um, that is disorientation. I'm gonna call that done. Thanks very much for hanging around and watching this if you did. I mean, there's a picture. If I shoot it, does it bleed? So it does. Why would anyone be shoot... Try shooting this painting? To find out that it bleeds. What the hell? Why? But... Okay, doesn't do anything, does it? Just bleeds. Well, I better clean that up. What a mess. Well, that's a thing. <laughs>